Hello, fifth year. How are you today? Well, today is Thursday, the 3rd of September. Uh, remember, you have to come in composition number seven. Yes, you have to check. Uh, We're going to check the exam maximizer, pages 68, 69, and 70. And we're going to do exercises from question tags that I explained last class. We are going to work on pages uh, 119, 120, and 121 from the class book. And as homework, you are going to do pages 70 and 71 from the exam maximizer, page 22 uh, from the quadernisio, where you are going to practice so and such. And you have to write composition number 8 from the list. Is it clear? Well, let's check. Uh, Remember, I wait for you in the emotional Zoom. No te olvides de traer hojas de colores, hojas de, de, de hojas, papeles blancos, yes, fibras también. Yes, it could be a, a very nice experience. It could be an emotional Zoom. We are going to work 100% with emotions, okay? And we're going to talk, yes, of course, in English. Yes, okay? Activities in English, yes, okay? Well, I wait for you, yes, don't miss it, yes, okay. Well, so let's go to uh, page 68, page 68, okay. Exercises one, two, and three from the reading, okay. One, unsure whether she likes or dislikes it. Two, one C, two D, three B, four G, five A, six F. Exercise three. One, shortcuts. Three, or two, originally. Three, stunning. Four, irritated. Yes, okay. Five, renewable. Six, conjection, conject, conjection, accessories, and eight, battle. Yes, okay. Let's go. Um, I want you to highlight. They are underlined, but I want you to highlight with a highlighter. Irritated, stunning, originally, accessories, a shortcut to renewable battle and congestion. Yes, okay, congestion. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to the grammar part, exercises one and two. Okay, such, two, so, three, so, four, so, five, such, and, uh, so, Seven, such excitement in the crowd. Eight, uh, so, exercise two, very. Two, enough. Three, two, four, very. Five, two, six, very. Seven, enough. Eight, enough. Yes, okay, well done. So I want you to go now. Two pages, 119, 120, and 121 from the class book. Yes, okay. And I have to check one reading, two. Yes, okay. Twenty-one, page twenty-one, reading from page twenty-one. Yes, are you there? I'm not yet. Okay. Wait a minute, because I'm looking for the page. Well, the thing is that there wasn't a reading on page 21, yes? It was uh, on page 20, yes? Okay. Yes, it was the page 21, but it wasn't a reading, yes? Okay. That was page 21. The, the last reading was on page 20. Yes, okay. Page 21, yes, okay. Good. 
Well, so you have to combine pair of short sentences to make a longer sentence using the words and phrases in brackets. You will need to make some sentence negative. Okay. I always carry my mobile phone and I want to call people easily. So that, okay. Well, I'm going to the music shop. Yes. To buy that new CD. He drives carefully so as to have an accident. Yes, okay. So as not to have an accident. Yes, okay. This is the example in the one that you have to make negative. Yes, okay. She studies very hard. Yes, in order to improve her English. Number four, you should use sun cream in order mm, not to get sunburned. I'm going to bed early so that uh, I can arrive, yeah, I can, so that I won't be tired tomorrow, yes, okay, or so that uh, I don't be Yes, tired tomorrow. Yes, okay. Uh, I am doing compu a computer course, course so that uh, I can learn how to use computers better. I wrote down his phone number in order to not to, in order not to forget it. She plays tennis every morning so as to keep fit. Yes, okay. Well, and then you have adjectives describing personality. Arrogant, bossy, competitive, down to earth, easy going, generous, loyal, confident and sensitive. Yes, okay. Well, Manuela is always faithful to people she cares about. Yes, okay. So what's that? Yes, is it going? Loyal. Yes, okay. Good. Costa is very friendly and she likes to be with other people. Sociable, yes, okay. Ah, ya me comí esta, chicos, eh. Me la me salté. I skipped that. Aja is able to understand people's feelings and problems. So, what's that? Um, mm, mm, sensitive, yes. Danny is relaxed and not usually worried about things. What's that? Uh, 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 uh. Down to earth? Wait a minute. Well, no, 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 not there. Not, not there. Yes, okay. No, it's not down to earth. Okay, Danny is relaxed and not usually worried about things. Mm. Uh, is it going loyal, self-confident? Well, let's continue. I will, I will check it. I will check it. Paolo is practical and doesn't have a dreamy approach to life. Uh-huh. Paolo is practical and doesn't have a dreamy approach to life. Well, well, this is down to earth. Yes, okay, down to earth. Yes, okay. Jorge always wants to be more successful than other people. Yes, okay. Arrogant. Uh, 
Okay, Carolina believes that she's more important than other people. Well, this is arrogant. Nasser Dean always said people what to do in an annoying way. Yes, okay. We'll see. Fiona feels sure, yeah, feels sure of her ability to be successful and she isn't nervous while well, self-confident. Yes, okay, self-confident. A ver cómo queda. Okay, Manuela always faithfully to people, loyal. Uh, able to understand, sensitive. Uh, Costa is very friendly, so sociable. Danny is relaxed and not usually worried about things. Well, el otro, el siete es uh, competitive. This is seven. Yes, okay. Uh, Carolina believes that she's more important than the others. Well, this is arrogant. And then bossy and self-confident. ¿Y qué me está faltando? Uh, Danny is relaxed. and don't usually worry about things. Well, le ponemos easy going ahí. Easy going. Ahí nos va. Okay, number one. Uh, generous, number two, loyal, number three, sensitive, number four, sociable, number five, easygoing, number six, down to earth, yes, okay, practical, uh, number seven, competitive, number eight, arrogant, number nine, bossy, and number ten, self-confident, okay, that's all. Atención entonces a la frase que usamos ahí arriba, con so that, yes, to, in order to, in order to, so that, to, yes, okay, uh, in order to, so as to, so as to, yes, okay, I complete my exercises of math so that I can advance, yes, okay, I study so, so that I can pass, I can pass my exams, I study so as to pass my exam, I, um, don't, I do my homework so as not to fail my exam, ¿ok? ¿Está claro eso? Así que atención cuando usamos so that, sujeto más verbo, so as to infinitive, so as not to infinitive. ¿Is it clear? Right. Um, good. So now we can move, yes, we can move to... Um, Pages 119, okay? Well, uh, we're going to do um, exercise one, yes? It says, look at the photos. So you have to describe the photos there. What can you see there? Yes, okay. Uh, in the photo on the right, uh, there's a group of people. It's a kind of meeting at work. Yes, okay. Um, they are drinking tea or maybe coffee. They are eating sandwiches, um, so that so as to celebrate something. On the picture on the uh, left, on the right and on the left, um, there's a couple and there is a man, and they are uh, in a kind of exhibition. Maybe it is um, um, an art exhibition, yes, or, or a mixture, yes, okay. Uh, between art and, I don't know, something else, okay? Um, in the picture on the right, the one that are uh, the, the group of people in, at the meeting, well, they are talking about um, maybe uh, the event that was uh, early performed, yes, okay? And on the, uh, or different things, yes, about your lives, yes, because this is a kind of meeting, yes, and while well, they are sharing opinions, yes, sorry. Good. On the other uh, picture on the left, they are um, talking about the painting on the wall, of course. Um, the woman is not very sure on what the man is saying, maybe. Yes, okay, exercise two. You have to talk the same I did, but with your ideas. The picture, uh, well, do you think these are good places to meet friends? Why, why not? Hmm. I would rather meet a friend in an art gallery, but not in a, 
uh, in a meeting at work. Yes, I think I would be more relaxed if I am um, out of the office. Yes, for example, in an art gallery. Yes, okay. Um, these are uh, sometimes uh, people ask uh, when they meet socially. So these are some kind of questions they do. Yes, I have something in my eyes. Yes, okay. Um, for example, what do you do? Yes, I'm a teacher, I'm a lawyer. Where are you from? I'm from Argentina. What's your hometown like? Yes, it's a small town, it's uh, very nice, but the, the disadvantage is that it's uh, very quiet most of the time. Yes, um, and I get bored sometimes. What's interesting for visitors to see around here? Well, here um, you can go to the riverside, you can go to the 25 de Mayo Boulevard, um, you can go shopping, yes, okay, you can go to the riverside. Yes, how long have you been learning English? Well, I have been learning English for a lot of years, for a long time. Do you like watching sports on TV? Well, I like watching on TV, uh, I like watching um, uh, extreme sports on TV. Yes, okay, extreme videos uh, about extreme sports on TV. Uh, why? Because I, I don't practice this kind of sport, but I am interested in watching people doing them. Would you like to go and work in a different, in a different country? Well, I have been working I have worked uh, on a different countries and I found many uh, advantages and also disadvantages and so on. What was the last film you saw at the cinema? Well, the last film I saw at the cinema was uh, Perez, yes, El Raton Perez, yes, okay, with my two daughters. Well, uh, what did you do for your last holidays? Uh, well, last holidays, I went to the beach. Yes, okay. How do you spend your free time? Well, I spend my free time sharing moments with my two daughters and my husband. I also like reading. Yes, uh, there is a book uh, I have to, um, a Julio Verne's book that I have to finish, but I didn't find time uh, for doing that. Um, what else? Uh, I watch... Uh, series, I watch films, yes, I do exercises too, yes, okay. Why it is, is it important for you to know English well? Uh, because uh, um, you can, it's uh, interesting for business, for traveling, for working, yes, because it, not only English but learning languages is important because it can um, um, makes you more open-minded, yes, uh, you can work uh, in different uh, places around the world, yes, do you have any plans for the holidays? Well, I have plans for the plans for the holidays, but well, because of the pandemia, I think our plans are going to be, okay, uh, leave uh, behind for next year, yes, okay, what do you like to do at the weekend? Well, at the weekend, I would like I like walking with my daughters. Yes, we go to the park. Uh, we do exercises together. Uh, of course, we do homework too. Yes, because they have to uh, uh, do homework. Yes, okay. And well, uh, we like sitting in the terrace. Yes, okay, in the balcony. I listen to music. Yes, okay. Um, doing my nails, okay? Well, these are questions that we sometimes ask, yes, and answer when we meet socially, yes? So, um, if you were here, we would practice this question in groups, yes? But practice alone at home. We're going to do exercises, exercise four, yes? And uh, you are going to read the question with tags, then put a cross next to the statement A, from A to E, which is not true. Okay, remember question tags. Do you like coffee? Don't you? I like coffee. Sorry, I like coffee. Don't you? Uh, 
It is a very cloudy day, isn't it? I will go to Miami next year. Won't you? Yes? Okay, I read, I like reading uh, books. Do you? Okay, well, these are question tags we have already read last class. On page, the grammar reference is on page 158. Yes, okay? Is it clear? I went to uh, Disney last year, didn't you? Okay, good. Well, so let's check exercise four. Remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, good. Well, exercise four. Yes, okay. Good. One and three are your answers. From one to three. Yes, you don't speak Italian. Do you? Adele is brilliant singer. She said she's a very brilliant singer and she's very thin nowadays. I don't know what happened to her, but of course she's, I don't know, she has uh, gone through a, a strict diet. Or she has started eating better. That's the answer. Okay, the film last night was very boring, wasn't it? Okay, from one to three are your answers. Number four, you are studying at my school, aren't you? Well, not true. Yes, B. Okay, five and six are your answers. Okay, is it clear? Well, so in exercise four, you are going to think about question tags. Yes, okay. About technology. Yes, I use our computers. Don't you? Design. I like fashion. Do you? Yes, okay. Don't you? Okay. Um, I watch Netflix. Yes, okay. Don't you? I used to uh, play with dolls when I was a child. Didn't you? Yes, okay. I'm very interested in education. Yes. Aren't you? Yes, okay. Aren't you? Okay. Uh, question tags, but as regard these topics, okay? Is it clear? So let's go to page 120 and 121. A challenging, uh, a challenging, challenging present, yes? Okay. Um, I recently bought a present for my dad's birthday. birthday. He loves games and puzzles, so I decided to buy him a complicated jigsaw puzzle in the shape of a globe. Yes, okay, it looked really cool on the box and the idea was that uh, he could display the finished puzzle on a shelf and not just break it and put it away again, um, as you do with most puzzles. Um, I don't do that with puzzles. Yes, whenever I finish a puzzle with my daughters, I um, put uh, it um, in a portrait, yes, and we hang it on uh, the wall in their bedroom and they are, uh, there is one I will show you next class okay um, there is one that is uh, of um, of a princess on a horse or something like that and it was very beautiful it was very difficult for us to put in order yes okay to uh, um, because um, we displayed it and she was very small, she was very little, the, my Alana, my first daughter, um, and it was hard, yes, okay, but it was very beautiful because she, uh, she liked it, okay. Well, um, but at that time it was a very complicated puzzle, yes, so I want you to read it, yes, okay, and then Okay, answer the questions, do exercises um, four, yes, okay, do exercise four. And it says, when you are going to buy something new, yes, what do you buy? Yes, okay, um, souvenirs, uh, watch, yes, something new, yes, what do you do? Yes, wait a minute. Uh-huh, 
What do you buy? Check. What do you see? You are going to buy something new. For example, a pair of shoes, a present. So what do you do? Do you check out uh, reviews? Yes. Online or in a magazine? Uh, ask friends advice or rely on your own, own judgment? Well, whenever I am about, I am about to buy a new thing, I mean, I mean a present or a, a perfume or something, I read the reviews, yes? And this is something you are going to do then, but not now. Yes, you have already done writing uh, reviews, yes? Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, there are a lot of reviews of everything, uh, perfumes, uh, a pair of shoes, uh, sweaters, yes, everything. You can read everything on the internet, yes? Okay, so we're going to go to the grammar reference, uh, the writing reference on page 168, and you have the review there. Okay, so in the introduction, you have to say the name of the film, book, program. You have already done one, but it was of a film, yes, okay, uh, or of the book, of a book. But you can do, you can also write about a perfume, about a film, about uh, uh, a product, a pair of shoes, yes, and it is important to introduce the name of it. Then... On the next paragraph, you have to give some information about the subject or the film. Yes, okay. Then, do explain why the film, book, program, etc. was good or you enjoyed it. Yes. Link your ideas. Yes, using linkers. Yes. For example, uh, for example, yes, uh, however, yes, okay. And then, you have to conclude with an opinion or recommendation. And then you have the different vocabulary that you use uh, when, you uh, in when you write the introduction, when you give information, when you give an opinion. Yes, I particularly liked it because, yes, then you have to recommend it. Yes, okay. Uh, and so on. Yes, okay. was the queen along with the classes okay well so is it clear right well so that was a review yes you are going to write composition eight in this case you are not going to write a review yes but you are going to read the review yes and then in, when I, we have time we are going to write a review okay is it clear but not now yes okay So it says, uh, have you recently bought a new product that you really like or dislike for very various reasons? Yes, okay, and then we're going to write. But this is a very nice example of a challenging present, and it is a review because he said, well, her father was excited, uh, excited, it was very exciting for him to buy, to buy it. Yes, okay. Um, well. Uh, he finished the glove is really uh, the finished job a glove is really attractive uh, I thought it might look a bit odd and not very smooth but it doesn't uh, it's quite stylish yes I would like to give this to my husband because he really likes uh, gloves yes okay uh, I was impressed by the quality I would thoroughly thoroughly yes recommend it yes Okay, because it is a good present, yes, blah, 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 yes, okay, but it should be fun and blah, 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 yes, okay. Well, um, I want you to do exercise four, read the review again and underline a recommendation, a concern that was unjustified, an, uh, an initial reaction, and that would be all, okay, from there. Okay, do that. Okay.
I would uh, recommend this, number one. Two, I thought it might look a bit odd, but doesn't. Three, it looked really cool on the box. Four, you need to be very careful. It's really difficult. Five, I've already ordered another one. And six, he loves game puzzles. Yes, okay. And uh, now you're going to do the review on page 121. Now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. Number one, trendy. Number two, loose. Number three, latest. Number three, checked. Number four, tight. Number six, decider. designer. Number seven, fake. And number eight, genuine. Those are uh, words that you need to write down in the voca eh, libro de vocabulario de la A a la Z. Number two. Okay, so we have modal verbs, yes, remember modal verbs in the present, you have the modal verb plus, yes, plus um, an infinitive verb, and then you have the modal verb in the past, you have to, I must have opened the door, I didn't, yes, okay, is it clear? I could have gone to your party, yes, one, might have belonged to might have worn, three, might have been, four, can't have seen, five, might have belonged, must have worn, might be, can't be. Exercise three, war building. Healthy. I really want you to focus on the war building exercise, okay? Unfair. Imagination. Because when I uh, prepare, the, um, when I'm preparing the final exam, okay, I use different ones from all the units, yes? Imagine there are 10 sentences, I use one from unit one, two from, yes, okay, from, diff from the different units. Investigation, importance, recovery, personality or personalities, sweetness, expensive, anger. Exercise four, 1B. 2E, 3A, 4F, 5D, 6C. 1. Tall enough. 2. Such. 3. Very. 4. So. 5. Enough money. 2. 2. Yes. Uh, perdón. 6. 2. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was all for today. Yes. Okay. Um, revise everything. And uh, listen. I want you to, um, I wait for you in the emotional soon, yes, okay? Don't miss it, yes, I will wait for you. Bye-bye, see you next class. Have a nice weekend.